Hi everyone. Welcome to Huck and Buck Farm, Andre Haritos here in Smyrna, Delaware. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today is seeding time. Although I've already started the process, I want you to see my lovely, lovely, lovelies. I just, I'm, I'm so excited. So here on the farm, I'm zone seven. So we, I think our frost date is May. And a lot of the seeds that I've already started allow me to start seeding eight to 10 weeks before that date. So that's in my head, March, April, but really kind of like the middle to end of February if you want to get the 10 weeks in. So I've already started the process. Um, you know, little farmers and homesteaders, we are just chomping at the bit when the season goes cold for us to start doing something as soon as we get a smidge of decent weather. With that being said, I'm gonna show you what I've started. Status, isn't that beautiful? So let me back up. I'm going to do, in addition to the veggies that I normally grow, I'm going to do a cut flower garden for those of you who have been following me and watched me start the bulbs and the combs and the tubers and whatever else that can go out there in the soil um, winter time so that you can start having those particular flowers like tulips, daffodils, um, ranunculus, you can have them springtime, early spring. So that's fingers crossed that I planted those correctly. I already know I did one of them incorrectly. It's a, the comb is like this based on that particular flower and I planted it that way and it actually needs to go this way. So I'm hoping that it'll, you know, redo something and the cones will face the sun and come up. But right now I planted it this way and it should be that way. So we'll see. You learn, you learn, you learn, live and learn. So status, a beautiful flower, almost like a, Filler, I want to say for me, because it's not necessarily like a sunflower or a rose or a tulip. It's not that type of open faced flower. So I think that's going to be beautiful. Snapdragons. This is another wonderful filler. They grow tall. So I have this brand from Baker's and this particular color. Isn't that gorgeous? And then Johnny. I want them to start putting some color on their little bags. But I planted the Potomac, which Potomac is more of a white, cherry, yellow, has some red. So it has a little bit more of, the, of a lighter, springier colors to it. So I planted that also. The Cosmos, this is a cupcake white. And I know I have another color that I need to get in some trays ASAP. I did a lot of lavender, some English lavender and some Munstead lavender. I'm saying that correctly. I planted some sweet Thai basil, kind of like that flower at the top. So, you know, you can put different things like grasses and the basils and all that kind of whatnot in your bouquets to make them smell good. So I'm excited about that. So this is a sun ball and it's just that. It's a yellowish color ball on a stem that I would have put in the bouquet. So again, Johnny seeds, no pictures. Dahlias, I planted three bags of these. Isn't that a beautiful flower? And that's what I mean. So look at that in comparison to what I'm saying, your Snapdragon or your status. So, that would be more or less your bouquet. So you kind of choose this or choose that with that, but now you can see what I mean when I'm saying like an open face flower. These almost remind me of zinnias. And I have a lot of zinnia seeds, a lot, a lot of sunflower seeds. I also did onions and garlic is already outside in the ground. I didn't do a variety of onions just because I figured 
Grab your onion. Now I'm a red onion fan, so I might do some red onions. I did that last year. Planted them, didn't really eat them. They got a little soggy, and plus I really didn't take care of them the way I needed to, but. And then, Gazania. So here's another example. Gazania, are you gonna put Snapdragon in that bouquet? Are you gonna put Status in that bouquet? Are you gonna put the Sunball in that bouquet? So I, it's, it's gonna be loaded up. You guys are gonna be flower down. So Cut Flower Garden this year, Huck and Buck Farm, Smyrna, Delaware. I want you to come. Let's do some flower garden parties. Let's get some Girl Scouts out here. Let's get some different groups to come out and let's do it up. We're gonna be flower down. So just to give you an idea of what my beautiful seeds have been doing, they've been germinating. They have been germinating really well. So these are the Cosmos. So I put on there where I got the seed, what it is, and then I try to put the date of when I actually started planting them so that I can tell how long it's taking for them to get to this the position that they're in. So Cosmos I'm seeing are very leggy and they grow fast. So I'm gonna probably have to repot these. I might do it this weekend, like tomorrow. But yeah, they're not, the roots aren't really hanging out like that. So I'm not as nervous, but I want them to have room because I, I planted the seeds. I don't want them to go to waste. Thai basil, isn't that lovely? Two trays of that. Here's the sun balls, right? Look how beautiful that grows. Isn't it just wonderful to see how nature just takes over? So wonderful germination on this tray. Wonderful germination on this tray. And again, these seeds are Johnny seeds and I planted these what? Womp womp. No date. I know one of these has to have a date. Somebody's got to have a date. Somebody's got to have a date. Where's the date? I don't have a date? Come on, Johnny. Give me a... Here's a date. Maybe I felt that I only need to do one date. So these were planted on the 8th of February. All three trays. Look at that status. Isn't that beautiful? I hope my camera is pointing correctly. And then look at the dahlias. It's just wonderful. The dahlias are just gorgeous. More Cosmos. Um, again, Cosmos on this side, which is a white. This is called Cupcake. And then Status again on this half. And then this is an entire Cosmo, and that's an entire Status. More trays and shelving over here. So we need lights. So when you're seeding, you need lights, you need shelves. And I mean, let me rephrase that. You don't necessarily need, you just need to do with what you have. So if you don't have shelves, you can put it on a counter, but then you still need the lights and you need warmth. So you see how I have the heater? So Michael and I have the heater down here, shelving, shelving of trays and more shelving. So this has all that lavender in it. This has the onions down here at the bottom, onion and onion. And this is that gazania. And here's the dahlias, which actually, if you could tell, I don't feel like turning the light out, but the dahlias are coming through. And then there's another gazania down there. So I have more stuff to seed. Here's my soil more stuff to do and then I need to get the veggies so that's all we need more lights so we're actually ordering that another shelving system and some more bottom trays we need a bunch of those once everything kind of comes out of this space here and then over there we're gonna then move it probably to that side of the basement where we don't necessarily have the heater. At that point, the flowers would have gotten a little bit more hardy. 
and we don't necessarily need to have as much heat. I mean, the basement is heated, there's vents, you know, in the ductwork. And then we can kind of start getting the vegetables over here and then kind of transition them over there and then transition them outside so they can start, you know, taking um, kind of like the weather. They can start taking on the weather and starting getting a little stiff and hard and a whole bit and then we can kind of transplant them out to the soil. Once we start transplanting them out to the soil, what that means is I need to have the outside soil slash garden paths ready. Need volunteers. So that is what Huck and Buck Farm is doing. We are having a cut flower garden this year. So check us out, Huck and Buck Farm, H-U-C-K-A-N-D-B-U-C-K Farm, Smyrna, Delaware. This is my YouTube channel. I want you to hit the subscribe and the like. Watch this video. I'm gonna stop it at about 12 minutes. So just turn it on, let it play because we are looking for 1,000 subscribers this year. I know I can do it. And we need 4,000 watch hours. I know I can do it. I'm gonna shout out to my girl here in Smyrna, Priscilla. Check out her page, which is The Locked Gardenista Pharmacy. And it's the word the, L-O-C-D, Gardenista Pharmacy. She's also here in Smyrna doing some wonderful things. Her front yard is mind-blowing let me real quick didn't i say i was gonna stop at 12 minutes okay i gotta hurry i gotta hurry so this is what we do priscilla beautiful now i think that's the something tree <laughs> that you gave us but she gives us things we give her things we barter i love it huck and buck farm subscribe to my channel hit the like button 12 minutes toodles